If you're only using ChatGPT to brainstorm content ideas, you're missing out on some huge opportunities. While everyone else is asking ChatGPT, what should I write about next? SEO pros are using it to cut their workload in half and improve the results at the same time. It sounds crazy, right? And too good to be true. But trust me, there's a method to the madness. So in this video, I'm going to show you the ChatGPT strategies that can actually help improve your site's ranking and also the critical mistakes that you'll want to avoid. Before we dive in, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we deliver the most up-to-date and reliable information on all things SEO and PPC directly to you. So first, let's talk about how ChatGPT is reshaping SEO in two critical ways. First and foremost, it's transforming the way that we work. Instead of spending hours on repetitive SEO tasks to sorting out coding issues, ChatGPT is here to stay and you can drive its ongoing success. Second, it's changing how people search for information online. With AI overviews dominating search results and zero-click searches on the rise, your old SEO playbook is gonna need an upgrade because at this point, users might not even use Google to search at all. Instead, they'll go directly to ChatGPT and get their answers there. So instead of trying to compete with it, let's instead learn how SEO professionals are using ChatGPT to their advantage in these categories. Content strategy applications, technical SEO automation, advanced applications and workflow integrations, content creation best practices, and then we'll talk about critical warnings and limitations. Let's first talk about how we can use it to develop content strategies. A great use for ChatGPT would be for content gap analysis. Export your sitemap as a text file, upload it to ChatGPT, and use this prompt. ChatGPT will then quickly identify content gaps and suggest pieces that address different search intents. This is only a snapshot of what ChatGPT can provide, but you can easily use this as a stepping stone to develop an entire content strategy. For a more detailed prompt, you can include information like this what you do, your target audiences, their challenges and needs, what makes you unique, and your content goals. But always remember to cross-reference ChatGPT's content suggestions with your own sense of what your buyers want to read or reference, as well as your own tried and true content strategies. Another area where you can use ChatGPT to your advantage is keyword research and clustering. When researching keywords, you can easily write in a prompt like this to find keywords around any topic. It'll sometimes provide a search volume number, but let me give you a huge heads up in advance. Be careful about the information that ChatGPT provides because it's known to make up or hallucinate information. With that being said, what ChatGPT does excel at is semantic clustering or keywords with similar meanings. You can use ChatGPT for quick keyword research and semantic clustering, but be sure to verify the information it does give you with existing reliable tools. Two tools I can recommend for keyword research and semantic clustering respectively are SEMrush's Keyword Magic Tool, which has 27.3 billion keywords in its database, and the Keyword Strategy Builder, also from SEMrush, which will help you perform SERP analysis. ChatGPT at the moment won't perform this very important step. Using a combination of ChatGPT and dedicated research tools helps you develop the good habit of fact-checking the information that ChatGPT provides to make sure that people are actually searching for it. Now, one way a lot of people go wrong with AI content is they let ChatGPT analyze what competitors are doing and end up with the same generic outline as everybody else. Instead, you should use ChatGPT to go beyond what's already ranking. If you're using SEO briefing tools, build upon the brief it gives you and add new insights. A good brief includes an outline that covers everything ranking pages do and more, engaging content that sets you apart from competitors, information gain so you can add information to your piece that makes it more accurate, comprehensive, or useful. Now enter ChatGPT. You can use a prompt like this to ask for H2 suggestions that cover what competitors miss, but you can ask it to provide further headings like H1, H3, and H4s, and even some direction on what to include within each section. The key is using ChatGPT to add information gain, new insights that make your content more comprehensive 
and useful than what's already out there. But ultimately, the best content outlines and briefs are used from using both tools that do SERP analysis to make sure you've covered your topic in full, and ChatGPT to help you add information. Now let's get into the technical applications where ChatGPT can really save you some time. If you're tired of creating title tags, meta descriptions, and headings yourself, you can absolutely benefit from automating bees in bulk with a paid ChatGPT subscription. Create a spreadsheet with your title tags in column B, then use this exact prompt. Upload your file and ChatGPT handles the rest. One caveat, always check the character counts because ChatGPT sometimes ignores length requirements. It's unlikely that you'll ever get a perfect output for bulk generative text like this, but it'll be a lot quicker than writing everything manually. And be sure to check descriptions carefully before uploading them to the website. Schema markup is where ChatGPT really becomes valuable for technical SEO. AI is pretty good at generating schema, so rather than paying a developer, you can do it yourself. First, identify what schema you need. You can choose from a list from a resource like schema.org. For example, adding the organization schema is always a good start for most organizations. Once you know what you want to create, provide ChatGPT with your data and use a prompt like this. You can then take it a step further and ask for recommendations on how to enhance the schema. But disclaimer, be sure to always validate the output using Schema Validator and have a developer review it before you implement it site-wide. If you're stuck with technical SEO, ChatGPT might be able to help. It can't perform the audit for you, but it works well for interpreting results. Paste technical issues from your audit tool and ask ChatGPT to explain what they mean and how to fix it. You can also ask it to prioritize a list of issues and explain its reasoning. Try this prompt to get started. Now for all of you super tech savvy SEO enthusiasts out there, let's discuss more advanced applications. Keeping in mind that ChatGPT can only provide insight into data that's already publicly available, you can still complete some competitor analysis with it. Because ChatGPT is really good at providing niche solutions, try prompting it with specific problems your audience faces. For example, try this prompt in ChatGPT. Add an audience and a problem that you solve and see who's writing about this on their website. ChatGPT will find nuance better than traditional Google search. You can also use ChatGPT by feeding it competitor content to analyze messaging, create SWOT analysis, and identify positioning opportunities. Outreach emails are a great use case for ChatGPT since it's short content and doesn't benefit too much from being unique although you should still try to stand out at least just a little bit. Try this prompt to create a template with placeholder content that can easily be replaced with personalized data. The key is customizing the template for each recipient. Make sure not to send generic AI emails as these days they're pretty easy to spot. You can automate your workflow by connecting ChatGPT to platforms like Airtable and Google Docs through Zapier to automate brief creation and even use the GPT for Sheets extension with Google Sheets for spreadsheet tasks like translations and formula generation. And while most tools don't integrate directly, you can use ChatGPT to create summaries and action plans from your SEO audit reports for stakeholders. Now let's talk about the best practices for probably the most common use of ChatGPT. Content writing. The better the prompt, the better the output. A poor prompt will lack detail, so be sure to include examples and your brand values or tone of voice documents. Never ask ChatGPT to write entire articles. Instead, work section by section. This gives you better control over the output and makes fact checking manageable. Your goal is to write content alongside ChatGPT. Make sure to edit the content it provides you and include your own experience. ChatGPT wasn't there to experience anything it writes about firsthand, so edit it with your own point of view to make it feel authentic and in your brand's voice. Be sure to fact check everything. As I mentioned before, ChatGPT can and is known to hallucinate facts. Always keep in mind that no matter how confident the answers it provides sound, keep fact checking because the last thing you want is to use outdated or hallucinated sources. On that note, 
let's talk about some risks you really need to avoid when using ChatGPT for SEO. Like I just mentioned, ChatGPT hallucinates. It can create fake information with complete confidence. Let's put it this way. The Chicago Sun-Times learned this lesson the hard way when ChatGPT generated a list of 15 summer reading recommendations. Of the 15 books that were on the list, only five were real. You've also got to be mindful of duplicate and generic content issues. Without your unique insights, anecdotes, and experience, your content will sound like everyone else's. Let's say you're working on an article about a feature in software you've been using. Try a prompt like this. After all, Google's recent emphasis on experience in EEAT isn't a coincidence. They want content that shows real human expertise and not just AI slop. And finally, there's brand trust to consider. Nearly half of customers trust a brand less if AI was used when they expected services to be delivered by a human. The solution isn't to avoid AI completely. It's to be transparent about how you use it and make sure that it enhances rather than replaces human expertise. Generative AI, ChatGPT, and other AI tools like Claude, Gemini, and Perplexity are here to stay. Success in this field now comes from blending your established brand voice and identity with AI. But the key is balance. Use it as a sophisticated assistant, not a replacement for strategy and expertise. Let us know in the comments below which ChatGPT application you're most excited to try. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on a single one of our videos. Be sure to visit us at searchengineland.com where you can find tons of written guides, articles, and more that will talk about everything and anything SEO, PPC, and more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.